What's going on, Chet Heads? It's your wholesome boys. We got Rap God Rhapsody, OG Lexa, and I couldn't think of a new snappy name for Orbital in the bathroom. Let's go, Minecraft. Let's go. Hit the like button already, baby. <laughs> Make me <laughs> the end. Hi, guys. What's this plant? Hi. Uh, it's a plant. It has other plants in it. Mm -hmm. Alexa has oh, told dude. me this is a, a plant that's called a garden, and it's going to have a lot of plants in it that I can use to get seeds that I can use to make plants. I don't know why I've decided to go cyclical like that, but hopefully we end up with a surplus of food as a result. Pray for good stuff. Okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to need you all to step back. This is going to be very dangerous. All right. Dude, I'm this back. I'm like back. Veggie loot boxes. <laughs> it really is. Okay. Oh, oh dude. Sick. Is a lit one though. Cotton it gives us string. So cotton, we're, we're bell pepper, and a lily. It's lit. Bell pepper. And Woo. by the way, guess what? Mm -hmm. Guess what? What? Parsnip. <gasps> peanut. Ooh. Peanut. And I got the, the peanut. Big, the big kahuna. Corn. Oh hell yeah! It's lit. Excuse oh. me, it's maize. Thank you. I got the peanut. Same thing. Yo, the there's peanut. like more of these over here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Wait, no, we it's... can get like all of the crops ever. So I I'm gonna start uh, my day by hunting all of these. Is is that what everyone's gonna be doing? Uh, I'm probably gonna get to work on the jail. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm building bridges. Okay. Well, yeah, I need I need you to help me make the uh, the public space. Alexa. All right. That's 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 the mission. There's um, a way to save those. We're we're gonna need to. I think we should probably have like a town outside of the farm, at, outside of the farm, outside of the town. Mm -hmm. okay. Farm outside of the town is is what I meant to there say. There you go. Okay. <laughs> oh, we got there eventually. I'm with you. I'm with you. Uh, the point is, is that you know maybe it's it's fine to have a couple of animals in Rapsy's backyard, but we're gonna need you know a massive place to grow all the crops. All right. Spread so so right now let's 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 walk through it. So we right. got. Hey, whoa, whoa, hold on. I'll, I'll give you. I'll give you the vision tour as well. Oh, okay. I'll give okay. You the vision tour. All right. Okay. So, <laughs> so at the moment, we're standing on one of three. Uh, one of Chet's three great bridges. Okay. Wholesome bridge. <laughs> wholesome bridge one, and then that'll be right. wholesome bridge two, etc. Right. Excellent. So, right over here, we've got the entrance to the to the public space, and everything on the left of this uh, sort of cobblestone divider is going to be. The public space of Chet, the Chet Plaza, Chet Common Grounds, Chet Gardens, whatever, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. And this is the area, right? This is the area that we're going to need to spruce up and okay. make it look all trendy. And I want everyone to input into it so everyone can like put their own little bits into it and it'll all look really nice. All right. All right. And then over here, we're going to have the Chet Cropolis right up here. <laughs> and then maybe with an underground passage to, uh, to the jail. You know, so we can lock up political prisoners and okay. you know, enemies of the state okay. in Rito's jail. Mm -hmm. and then we've got, obviously, the jerkery. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is that the big <laughs> and, uh, stone box? Yeah, that's um, that's scaffolding, I've been told, although yes. I am less certain now that I've... <laughs> I, I think this is what it's going to look like permanently. No, like, no, no. no. I'll, I'll make sure that it looks pretty. It's near the common space. There's no way that I'm going to let it look All right. All right. You know, as bad All right. as it currently looks. But also, secondarily, uh, that's probably the granary right now because we're pretty far from being able to have sustainable farming of animals. So instead, let's sustainably farm plants. Well, okay. I was a way to say we need to get like a bakery. Uh, uh, what is what's the... Uh, what are all the French all the French words for uh, charcuterie? For like little, yeah, the charcuterie, the the <laughs> sort of sure sweet shop. Wee oui, wee oui is a French word. Um, we. It's wee wee wee. All right. So, uh, I, do, yeah. do, are we done with the tour? With, well, I mean, wow. Yes. Are you ever obviously. really done with the tour, though? Mm -hmm. I mean, are you ever so really life, in life in chat? Is a tour that doesn't exist yet. <laughs> are, are you ever really in chat? Well, okay. Give me your give me your you thoughts, Alexa. What do you okay. think? What do you think should go where? I mean, obviously, I've detailed exactly what's gonna go where. Yeah. But so, I, mean, I mean, there is like one boulevard down here. What do we What do we have coming off this this yeah. bully? So I. You know? <laughs> Please don't shorten boulevard the bully. Uh, bully. Come back to. 
Chet Bridge one. All right. And I want you, I'm going to take you into my mind. Okay. Okay. So you look straight ahead into Chet. Yeah. I'll stand next to you. All right. So, so yeah. you see on the left side, kind of a cityscape. Okay. Not That's really. Right. Think, well, think of it, think of it right like side. a, I thought the, the right side was the crops. Hold on. Okay, the trees <laughs> at the moment, that's left. I, yeah, I thank you. I have learned left and right. Okay. All right. Don't take that for granted. Sure I have it. So, <laughs> so crops is left. No, crops is common. That, that's common space. That's the common space right over there. We well, need you to make it into like out. a garden and, and okay. like fountains and trees and. Okay. I don't know. So, we're, so <laughs> let, let, let's walk through. So, left side is just going to be like very natural. Yeah, you know, but sculpted not, gardens, something but not like, like industrial croppage that we need. No, for... okay, absolutely not. And then center is going to be like common buildings. The center is going to be the jerkery, the okay. Chetcropolis, and the jail. That's like the okay. central sort of strip right there. Explain then... to me in layman's terms the Chetcropolis. <laughs> this was something that must have gone far over my head. That's something. Well, all right. So, have you ever seen what is the the Parthenon? You know the the <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah, that yeah, that thing, right? I'm envisioning okay. a massive building with okay. a couple of pillars right in the center of town on this hill, right? Okay. And this can be where you know all of the decisions are made about Chet and Chet's people. <laughs> okay. All right. And then that can have like a secret little backdoor access tunnel down to down to the jail down to the jail where we throw the political prisoners okay so and enemies of state i like it chet's doing great i'm worried about one minor thing mm -hmm. oh no oh no the wholesome boys brewery yes there's not a single part of chet that has any correlation to the wholesome boys right. brewery so it's right the entire come, goal come Get come hither long-term future Right, the long term, the long term future. Yet. Right, so this is so this at the moment, right? Okay. There, there are two. There are two ways where I can conceivably see Chet expanding. Right, okay. one is down the main, the main central boulevard. Right. Okay. The 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 Chet bully or the Chuli, as I the think it should now be. I like it. Yep. it. Should now be called. Right. So this is yep. the the Chuli right down here, and okay. the great thing about this is that it just goes into to meadows and it's 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 free real estate. Right. It's gotcha. it's totally empty. There's nothing here. All right. So. What we could do, and what I'd like your opinion on, is what do we put where? Where do we want to zone the brewery? Where do we want to zone the charcuterie? Where do we want to zone the fields of wheat and croppage? What goes where? Where do we stick I, it? I see. I see. You see what I'm? It's, it's you on the same page? Decision. Yeah, we are on the same page now. All right. So, I do. To think about this, we have to think about what we need for a brewery. Okay. We're going to need somewhere to actually hold all of our barrels of the goods. Okay. That kind of industry is going to take up space. Like, we're, we're going to need a big factory type space for that. Yeah. To absolutely. process all of that. We're also going to obviously want a place to sell the stuff, which is mm -hmm. probably going to be some kind of like wholesome tavern. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We're going to need. I mean, we're going to need somewhere to generate the power. We're going to mm -hmm. need somewhere to, I mean, like, for instance, are we, are we making something like mead? Uh, is it one of the alcohols of... in the game? Yes. Then yes. Then yes. Okay. <laughs> then we're going to need to also do bees in our place, which means right. we have to have a place for bees to be because yeah. we need the honey. I mean, there, yeah. there's a lot of things that we, we need here. Right, let's let's together let's extend out the chuli, okay? Okay. And see how so far I, we want to take it. Let's also let's think about design choices. Okay? okay. What do you so I know you have the the Chet Thranon, Parthenon, Chet, Chet Mobile, Chet whatever. Chetropolis. Chetropolis, yeah. close enough, honestly. Um Agree to disagree. <laughs> yeah, I, I, yeah, I didn't want to say, but yeah. Um, 
what kind of style like i don't know what style raps is going for his building is chet a very open and welcoming community where we have you know very different unique flavorful styles of builds or are we going for like you know the old timey old-fashioned german city street where you have you know all the buildings are kind of connected together with little shop entrances and something like that you know what is what is the design space that we're working with here i'm afraid that's above my pay grade that's a that's a planning <laughs> issue so i'd have to revert that to uh to the police officer <laughs> <laughs> you, I, that's uh, a planning issue so you reverted to the police officer rather than the city planner <laughs> i'm confused did you hear I, him this was not in my reading. job this was not in uh in, on the application can we promote someone to above grandmaster so that i don't actually have to make any decisions i mean i believe that's your job all right <laughs> yeah you're the grandmaster <laughs> All right. Uh, look, I, I, I think uh, I think it would be great if Chet has as many sort of different design elements as possible. You know, I think we want a, a traditional sort of feel, but also, you know, we got to incorporate the new. We got to get with the times. You know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Chet's right. a forward-thinking city. Okay. Absolutely. Yeah. Now I, mean, I think. We, so we, something we that a... defines a city, though, is uh -oh. the roads. Okay what is does your... it really i absolutely think so if you you know think of think of your stereotypical you know farm road okay a lot of dirt gravel not very you know the, a car goes down it's kind of bouncy you know or you got yeah. your city where you have the smooth asphalt that the car glides along are we going for a modern look where you have you know streets and sidewalks that are paved or are we going for that, you know, kind of farm country, gravelly dirt style road? Now that you mention it, that's a very good point. I should have considered that more thoroughly. Hmm. I don't considered, know. What do, you, what, what do you think? What, what do you think? What do you think, Alexa? See, I kind of, I like the idea of having this left side be a little bit more uppity you know you got a paved road you got sidewalks you got uh you know dare i say maybe even a, a car going down the road <gasps> and then no it's not but we can okay. make something that looks like a car and right. then as you go further out this way the road kind of you know where the sidewalks ends shell silverstein and it kind of starts to fade into a kind of dirt gravel and then as you're walking along you have little outposts that are everything that's needed for the wholesome boys brewery and then it just results in kind of the tavern and it just sits there i like that i i i'm massively pro that yeah i think all that's right. great all right cool then that gives me direction i can start making a road for us right how how far out do you think we should go though what's the um distance well, I think that we should keep, so like a normal road is going to be pretty straight. So I think that this we keep straight going yeah. out to, honestly, where you have it seems good to me. Sort of this, the extent of this up yeah. here? Yeah, I would say maybe to like here even. Hold on, kind sorry. of make this the, the, the spot where you kind of cap it. But then possibly, I mean, pardon me, I just died. So I, no <laughs> worries. I'm alive in spirit. Um... Maybe after that, that's where we start to transition the road to be a little bit more gravelly and dirty. And I, I'm I'm good at making those kinds of roads. The more mm -hmm. modern look is going to be a little bit more difficult for me. Um, but I, I can work with that. And then it'll kind of be a little bit more fluid and open and windy as it you know kind of goes around our various outposts needed for the brewery. I think that's great. I think that's... Uh... I think that's perfect. Can we get input from the police slash that random mason that we hired? Yeah. What happens? Sounds good. <laughs> <It's busy. laughs> I, uh, yes. I was busy getting shot in the head. Oh. Mm. Oh, man. Yeah. I say yes. Cool. To the thing said. Nice. I also yeah. give assent. Cool. Thanks for right. the sense, guys. I get oh. two cents. Right. Now, Wait here's the here's the million here's the million dollar question, right? Okay. What what does everyone want the the public space to look like? What are we going to make the plaza look like? So plaza is always circular, right? 
that it's just that a, is it's just a rule. No, it can't. No, it doesn't have to be <laughs> circular, right? So I'm, I'm imagining kind of like a circle right here where the trees are right now. Center of the uh -huh. circle is a big statue to Chet. And then it's just kind of some trees and flowers and water surrounding it. But okay. kind of a peaceful area to praise our Lord and Savior, Jesus Chet. <laughs> it's a common name, though. Yeah, all right. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Chet. No, that just sounds like you're mad at it. Chet. Yeah, I was waiting to say. <laughs> Jesus Chet. <laughs> oh, boy. That said, I don't think we need to do... I think that this is, like, one of the last areas we should do. You know? I, I, I'm I I'm happy to, to do this last. I don't mind. That's not a... Or we could do it... For, I do it. I, I'm indifferent. I I don't know. I'm sort of... I'm, I'm humming and hawing about whether we try and get the pet crop done. Because, I mean, that should probably be, like, one of our most important structures, you know? That's also true. I agree. But at the same time, that is quite a lot of. That's a that's a big design commitment, you know. You were gonna need some water, perhaps. Uh, yeah, I'll I'll make a moat around here in a bit. Okay, because I mean those are just gonna pop off and not stay there. Oh, <laughs> can yeah. I just bomb them back up? Yeah, yeah. Oh, and they become the original thing rather than the seed. Perfect. That's a little weird. I grew them real quick. It's very fast growing boys. All right. Well, Orbital, I'm going to make a road then. All right. And we'll just see where that takes us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll just absolutely yeah. right. go for it. All right, go for it. I'm gonna I'm gonna finish this bridge off, and then I'm gonna go and supervise the other design elements that are going on in the city. Because <clears throat> excellent, excellent, I need, make, excellent. I need to make sure that Rito is abiding by uh, city protocol. The city protocol, exactly, which I have now seized control. Does make sense. He could be he could be a little bit of a rapscallion. I know. <laughs> I feel like we need to have a committee, you know? I mean there's no there's no there's no fun in just having one person deciding planning, right? I feel That's like we've gotta have a planning committee, you know, some sort of decision making process, maybe some paperwork. You Party know? planning committee. Party planning committee. That's exact that's yeah. exactly right. Very that important. That is exactly right. Very important. The most what, important. What do you do with the alcohol if you don't have a party planning committee? You're exactly Drink. right. You speak my language. No, 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 no. <laughs> You're not allowed. Don't be ridiculous. No. Don't be ridiculous. No. He's on the to-do list, though. So, sorry. That is true. It is on the to-do list. You got me. Guys, I need your opinion, right? I need your opinion on the word chonky. Mm. What do you think? <laughs> I love the word chonky, man. Yep. It's like a top tier word. I want to be real. It's up there. Pro chonky? Come on, yeah. Pro chonk? Pro chonky. Very uh, pro the chonk. Because right. it's kind of like, you know, you see a picture of a, a really fat cat and it's really cute and you just go, oh, Lord, he chonky. Mm hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm uh I'm part yeah. of many Facebook groups that are just like this cat is chunky, this this dog is yeah. chunky. It's it's all it's good. Donkey, I, chunky. I do feel bad, like I I do feel bad rather. I do feel like possibly in a couple years we'll look back on it like we look back on like lol cat speech now. But <laughs> for the moment, I'm enjoying it. Yeah. I like that. That's right fair. I wasn't or expecting really, you're you anti chunky. I, I, well, I'm not going to say that I'm anti-chonky. I, I just discovered the word the other day, and I thought, wow, that's uh, that's not a word that I'd ever come across before. You know? It's, Surprises it's, me. It's, yeah, it's just, I don't know. I just, I didn't expect the support to be so uh, positive. <laughs> so Chonkalicious, as they say. Pro-chonk. Pro-chonk. Pro Chet's yeah. pro-chonk. <laughs> Put a sign up in front of it. Is that our, is that our first uh, chetleration? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the Chetleration. I hate yeah. it so much. <laughs> Chetleration. Chet of You know what the worst part about this is? We're going to record like six episodes of the series and then upload episode one and everybody's going to be like, yeah, this Chet thing's got to stop. <laughs> and we're going to have six episodes of Chet. Sorry, we're pot okay. committed at this point, friends. <laughs>
Well, the, the worst thing would be if, um, you know, chat is actually like a slur in some language and we're just like uh -oh. saying it repeatedly. Yeah, that'd be really bad. You're right. Yeah, you're that'd right. You've really correctly bad. identified the worst thing. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking, of worst thing. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of worst thing. Speaking of worst thing. Uh, we're going to start with Orbital. What is a game that you were really, really excited for? That ended up being terrible. <laughs> that's that's such a great question. I don't actually know. I don't. I don't know if I really look forward to games like I does, like I used to. Does Soul Zero have a sim like a sequel yet? Ah, oh, you yeah, shut up. <laughs> that, like, I, 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 I don't know. I, maybe maybe it would be the Soul Zero sequel if uh, that indeed. I don't know. I don't. I, I don't really I don't really have a game that I've been disappointed by. My expectations for for games these days are just like rock bottom. Mm. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I'm not you know, sure that's any better. But I, but you know, if you're constantly disappointed, you can never be appointed? disappointed. No, that's Wait, yeah, exactly. Yeah, the grandmaster of chat. I I don't know. I don't know. What about you? Do you have a Do you have a game? You must. Have, I feel like. You so I will game. say, and, and the thing is, I I reserve part of my judgment to this because I haven't actually played it yet. Mm. But hello, it, idiot. But it's it's one of those like I've seen enough to be like I'm probably not I'm not ever going to, despite my disappointment. Mm -hmm. um, it's, that, it's that new Isaac game, isn't it? I yeah, it's it. uh, the new Isaac game. Enter the Gungeon. Rito, you ever heard of it? Yeah, it sucks. <laughs> But um, I prefer to exit. It's so bad. Oh, I see. Uh, but no, I I'm one of those people that was waiting, you know, approximately 15 years for Kingdom Hearts three. Oh, mm -hmm. right. And and then the reviews for Kingdom Hearts three came out, and everybody went, "It yeah, just don't waste your time." Yeah. And I was like, "Well, that's rough." And then I never played it. Oh. Wow. That's fair, frankly. Yeah. Do you feel like you're you're sort of saving yourself some extra hurt by not playing it? No, I think I'm saving myself about thirty six hours. Okay. <laughs> right, about seventy off. USD as well. Because <laughs> everybody was like, "Yeah, the game's really long and also bad." I was like, "Oh." Well. It's nice occasionally like, when yeah. they save you the time like that. I like I feel similarly yeah. to Orbital, but like in a completely different direction of if there are enough games out at the moment that I'm enamored with, I don't look forward to games, so I don't really get on the hype cycle. Uh, but I do yeah. actually have a response for this question, uh, which I'm butting in here to assert. And Fallout 4. Fallout 4. It, it broke mm. me. <laughs> I... <laughs> it it like the last vestige of optimism I had for like especially AAA games. I was like, I'm done. Sorry, Fallout 4 did it. Todd did it. I think that's fair. Oh, wow, it's one of that's... the few series on my uh, on my channel that is like has an obvious conclusion, like to complete the campaign that I've just straight up abandoned. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Rito, that's, Rito that's you got any, yeah, you got any games that you were excited for that you hated? Oh my god. Sticker Star is a stain on Earth. Paper Mario was a good series. Sticker Star is a, not a good game. Sorry, everybody. I know that probably not many people in this call have, have an opinion, but I, it's one, of, one that I'm sure will drive a lot of opinions in the comments. You don't know what Paper Mario is? I know what Paper Mario is, but... It's the one that they made on the 3DS, and it's, like, not ah. even close. It's, like, not even close. I see. It's, like, they they took away... It's basically, like, if the first one's a big driving thing was that a lot of the characters were... Just, like, the writing was fun, the characters were fun and everything, but then in this one, they're, like, but make everybody Toad. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm not even joking. <laughs> Literally, that's exactly it. Literally, but make everybody tell it. That'll uh, be fun. That's <laughs> really good. Uh, you know what? Let's 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 be positive. Like, let's go the other way. Alexa, what's a game? 
that really didn't have any expectations for, but were just like blown away by how exceptional it actually was. I'm about to get yelled at when I say this one. I went into Hollow Knight expecting to dislike it. Uh, okay, what is your experience prior with like difficult Metroidvanias and as well with uh, like Souls-like-ish games? So I had pretty much zero experience mm -hmm. going in. And the thing is like I've never been, even like growing up, I was never a big game where it was just like a story that I had to follow. Like I I've never cared about the lore in games ever. I've never cared about like, you know, exploring and finding a ton of secrets and things like that. So everybody was like, you know, play Hollow Knight. And I was like, yeah, but it's like not really me. It's a story driven game that is difficult and like the entire purpose of it is to go find a bunch of secret stuff like i really don't care about this game and uh i played it and that was like one of the series i look forward like looked forward to recording every time i sat down to record because that game is freaking good mm -hmm. a very good video game very good absolutely game. incredible i really can't wait for silk song actually it's gonna be very good mm -hmm. all right uh rita how about yourself um, this is one of those questions that I would like, I'd come up with the answer like a week later, mm -hmm. <laughs> the perfect answer when I'm just sitting in the bathroom or something. I'd be like, Oh my God, that's the answer. Like, <laughs> I don't, I don't got anything off the top of my head for this one. I'm like, I go into most games with little expectation. I like in the same way that Orbital does. I just like, yeah, I don't yeah. get super excited. I can like look at something and usually be like, eh, it seems like pretty polished, I guess. And I'll usually jump on it then. Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't know. I, I feel like I don't have high expectations anymore. I but, feel like uh, that. That's and I don't have low standard. ones necessarily either. I, I think that's know. a standard I, when you become a content creator. Yeah. I'm just like, 100%. I'll see it when yeah. I see it. And that's kind of what happened. I'd be like, I, I don't think it's good yet. I don't think it's bad yet. It looks like it has some polish. Let's find out if it does. It's yeah. kind of where I'm at. Yep. Yeah, so I'll, I'll say this. Do you guys have any games that you're looking forward to? Nice try, Thief. Content <laughs> Thief. <laughs> this dude's looking to start his own series on the back of these. Uh, yeah, I'll, you know what? I'll, I'll, I'll play in. Darkest Dungeon 2. All right. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh. I cannot wait to have the uh, re-established Republic. Mm -mm. Mm. Mm. I'm excited. I, 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 I want to play Darkest Dungeon to get prepped for it, uh -huh. but Darkest Dungeon is so long. Yeah. To, to, I can't start. You can't start a series on it without expecting to do it for the ne next three months. Yeah, exactly. It's so like, like always a hundred so episodes for me. Out. So it's oof, hard to fit in. Like, especially because, like, I'd finished a giant series on it and people were asking, hey, you going to do a modded series on Darkest Dungeon now? And yeah. I'm like, I just finished a 150-episode series on it. I need to do other stuff. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. It's a great... Yeah. It's, like, one of my favorite games ever, though. Yeah. But I just... It's such a commitment. At least if you're doing it <gasps> for videos. Yo, okay, hang on. Uh, just a slight digression. A game I expected nothing of because I jumped on it before, like, the giant media bandwagon around it. Celeste. I expected nothing, and it was incredible. Yo, Celeste is real good. It's in my top five games stream. of all time. It's, it's real good. Very, very, it's very good. It's, if, like, probably on my short list of three games that I am shocked I haven't played yet because, mm. I, would know, I, because I know I'll love it. Yep. It's one of yes. those. Do it as a stream, was, and also let me mind. watch the stream. Yeah. <laughs> I will, uh, if I do it, I will let you. I will unban you just for that. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm trying to get unbanned for ages. <laughs> oh, boy. No, I, also, I was the exact same way. I uh, People had told me for a very long time, like, you got to play Celeste, and then hit the Epic Game Store for free. And everyone was like, this is your moment, Tyler. You don't have to pay for it. And I was like, okay, fine. I'll do it. Played it on stream. And I was like, damn, it's a good video game. Mm -hmm. So now I just play it every once in a while. Because it's like really easy. The chapters are like uh, 
the first time beating them because i know there's like weird difficulty spikes and stuff like that but the first time beating them they take like an hour to do each chapter so it's an easy hour segment on a stream and you just it's nice it's very uh like especially for like uh a platformer that can have relatively difficult or uh, intense kinds of parts it it's very zen the music in it is oh, incredible yeah. oh yeah yeah completely agree alexa can i borrow can i borrow you for a second this i think that you might know what i'm trying to do i need to try and make a circle it's <laughs> <laughs> bringing minecraft man yeah uh, i know why you making circles <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah i feel so like what, you're so you're trying to make a circle that kind of right so here so are the this okay. the circle the, the the pillars are the the bits that i want to connect up to a circle into okay. a circle Okay. They're the out. They're the out. They're the. the, the so we got a diameter of one, two, three, four, five, eight. six, seven, eight. Yeah. Well, technically. Well, double eight. Yeah, the radius is. Wait. <laughs> oh no. The radius is nine. So you got a diameter of eighteen circle. Yeah. All right. Here's the best way to do Minecraft circles. Are you ready? You better. Take out a notepad and start writing this down. I've little. got it. I've got a notepad. I'm okay. ready. You ready? You yep. start by Googling Minecraft circle. Okay. All right. And then following Googling Minecraft circle, uh -huh. you look at the Google images where uh -huh. there are a million Minecraft circles and you pick the one with the diameter you want and then you okay. follow. Right. I. <laughs> okay. And and you did it. You built a Minecraft I don't circle. Wanna, I, I am slightly disappointed. I, I, <laughs> yeah. I I I I honestly thought that that was just something that they taught you in Minecraft school. You know, mm. like circles. Redstone one hundred one, but sadly yeah. no uh, no circles. I used to know. Like, that's one of those things. It's one of those useless knowledge things where you know some things will be in my head for the rest of my life. Circles in Minecraft were in my head for a while. But they reached a point where it was like, no, you got to know like 600 Isaac items instead. So mm -hmm. some of that kind of went right out the dome piece and never came back. All right. I like the referral as oh a dome God, piece. Oh my God, what the hell? What? I friggin' you people covered up a cave. And when I opened it up by accident, friggin' two skeletons flew out of it. <laughs> Have you considered Scared not opening up the cave? Well, I'm dead. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Scared the hell out of me. Hold that was on. a good time. I had a good time. I'm having difficulty interpreting the circle images on <laughs> That's alright. I'm I'm managing. I can I can handle the circle build if you would like. No 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 no. It's a matter of pride now. <laughs> you told me. I see, I see, I see. I mean, we did games that underwhelmed you. We did games that overwhelmed you. Are there any games that adequately whelmed you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Appropriate whelming. Yeah. <sighs> what? Made you one one whelmed lad. Uh, could could you give me an example of a whelming? Um. Yeah. Undermine. Adequately whelmed me. Really? I went into it expecting really? Isaac clone, and I got a roguelite that was fun, but not perfect. And more than likely, <laughs> I'm never going to play ever again, but I enjoyed my, like, six hours that I spent in it. I was yeah. adequately well. I mean, it is, for the, uh, it's okay. worth noting, it is currently in early access, so it's, it's current to uh, build Very and true. finish is not representative of that All of right, the final okay. product. okay, okay. Then you know what? That's oh my god, Raps, you do not need this much water. <laughs> uh do I not? You said I needed water, now I have water. <laughs> Alright. Uh we have to have we have to have a Minecraft learning lesson real quick. I don't know who wants to join the Minecraft learning Wait, lesson. Does he not need this much water? I thought you oh needed my this much water. God no, you do not need that much water. I'm no. like ninety percent sure he needs this much water. This no, is I fine. It also looks kinda of pretty. I like this much water. It I does like look it. it does look pretty, but we're gonna have a Minecraft learning lesson just for the future. Okay. okay. Well see this spot over here? No, I'm not even looking. You're making fun of my farm. Alright, 
See I'm not making fun of your farm. I was just laughing. Hey, at Rhapsody. I think... It does not happen if you, like, run on crops, they all, like, pop up or something? No. Only if you jump. Oh. Okay. So, see this... Uh, oh, see sorry. this... Does anybody have a lot of torches? Uh, um, yeah. Yes. I have 19 now. Here, perfect. All right. Sure, you can take it, Orbital. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry. You. There you go. 64. Placing about 800 torches around. Um, so say we have this singular block of wood with a torch on it. Say that was a water in the ground like you have here. Mm -hmm. You can go four away. Such like this. Including <laughs> all the way to the corners four away. Uh huh. You can have just that one source block in the middle and it will cover all everything here okay but what if i did this instead because it kind of looks like i'm protecting my crops with a moat then you keep it like this and you accept the minecraft learning lesson and you keep making a dope ass looking farm i mean at Ayo. some point in minecraft like you have to give up you know efficiency because otherwise like you know oh, yeah, why no. ever build a house right 100 no yeah 100 percent Minecraft is all about giving up on efficiency and going for the dopest looking thing possible. It's just the law of the game. Mm -hmm. And dope things always are better than efficient things. D totally Until you agree. start actually automating it, and then you probably want it to be efficient. But uh, Yeah, when we get to the point of automating this, then sure, then we can yeah. whittle them down. Also, it's just because this is adjacent to the public area that it kind of prioritizes prettiness. Yeah. It Zombie. looks pretty now. I, I I think you need to make sure that you erect a suitable fence, Rhapsody. Uh, Where's the zombie? I have my police uniform on. I'm ready. <laughs> Your police Get uniform away. is three arrows stuck into different parts of you? I, that was... Uh, there was five. <laughs> I, Improvement. I was That's slowly I eating cherries while walking towards you all with five arrows after I switched into my police uniform to defend you, you ungrateful swines. Uh, I was well, uh, there's another zombie over here. So if, you, if you'd like to come back and uh, pop the arrows back in. Stay away from my friend! Garrido! Hell yeah! How do I bow? How do I bow? Also, I never pressed the timer button, so uh, tell me when to outro. <laughs> Uh, Any time around now is fine. Yeah, more or okay. less now. Yeah, thank you everyone for watching. I, I had a great time. I hope you guys did too. There's links in the description for everything you want and more. Uh, go see all kinds of series. Is there from a pony? All kinds of people. Mm -hmm. There's no pony in our descriptions. What? No, speak for uh, yourself. I put ponies in every description. There's no pony in my description. Mm. There's more. Two ponies in my description. Thank you everyone for watching. See you next time. Bye. Adios. See you. Bye.